everyone, welcome back to Big Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today we got the old Tundra out here, and we're cruising the countryside, and uh, came across a couple of deadfall trees, so we're going to buck these up, we're going to take them to the house, we're going to turn them into firewood. So when you're doing this, one thing you gotta watch out for is all the branches and stuff that are kind of underneath. A lot of uh, little tripping hazards and stuff like that. <clears throat> also, when you're when you're doing this too, every once in a while one will kind of hang up on you on the bottom that you don't see, and then when you cut it through, you can kind of snap up at you. But uh, yeah, we're. This stuff here is slowly getting into a little bit of rot right in there. But there's a second one right here. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the limbs off that second one. We're going to buck that one up. And then uh, probably start loading this up into the sleigh. This stuff here too, like it doesn't look that bad. But as you can see right here, we're starting to get into a little bit of rot. And uh, yeah, rotten trees, they don't burn. But uh, yeah, I'll start working on the second one, get the limbs knocked off. They're loaded up to this light, and then we'll slowly make our way back home. Oh, we started out cold, it was like about minus 20, but uh, as soon as you pick up the saw and start working, you uh you gotta start taking off your layers. Today I'm just wearing my northbound gear apex jacket and uh the little uh adventure pants and man they're keep me plenty warm out here, especially while I'm working. But uh yeah, alrighty. Let's get off to the second one.
Well, just like the first one there. Once we got a boat, halfway we started running into a little bit of rot. So we're gonna stop there, I think. I'm not interested in uh, burning rotten wood. So now, we'll put our little earplugs away. <clears throat> Basically start loading up the sleigh now. Oh, nose is just running like crazy. But, yeah, I'll pull the sleigh up here a little bit closer, then we can start throwing everything to the sleigh. <laughs> yeah, another beautiful day in the bush, I tell you. Sure beats sitting around in town doing pretty well nothing. Yeah, already. I'm gonna get the slave moved. We'll start loading her up. I don't know how much wood they're gonna be able to get in here. Plus our saw and all that, but we'll see if we can get it all. I brought a couple of bungee cords with me. Oh, messed that one up. But uh, yeah, we might be able to just kind of stack everything on top and then maybe bungee cord it down. <laughs> We're gonna give it a go anyways. Worst case scenario, we lose up pieces of wood but that's all right we'll know where they're at I think we're gonna lose that one. Maybe that one too. <laughs> but, should be able to get the saw. There we go. And then maybe the ox going to the back. Jerry can the oil. Oh, there might be enough room in the tote for that. But yeah. I'm gonna grab some bungee cords and see if I can bungee this down. So close. There we go. 
yeah, I think this here is going to have to ride in my tote. I don't know if this bungee will do anything good, but whatever the thought that counts, I guess. Ooh. There. Give that a go. That, uh, well, this one will probably lose. <laughs> Alrighty. See if we can make it home now. <laughs> well, you guys, we made her home in one piece. I know it's not the uh, the greatest of videos for a guy to be making right now, but uh, with this weather and stuff that we've been having, it's been too damn cold to really go out and do anything, and this is part of our lifestyle. So, I mean, hopefully that's the reason why you watch. Anyways, I'm going to unload this firewood, then I'm going to go inside, have a nice little warm cup of tea, maybe a coffee, and... Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, you know, it's not the greatest uh, videos to be making, but we're going to work with what we got. And, uh, yeah, I thank you for sticking around. Watch until the end. Make sure you like, uh, send us a comment or two. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.